Sabotaging your computer is not cooperating. Yeah, you deliberately fed that machine all the wrong answers, Charlie. Can I help it if the machine goes nuts when it gets the wrong answers? The machine does not go nuts. It's not designed to play games. Yeah, Charlie. Why? Hmm? Tell, tell me why. Why? Yeah. Because at 7.15 on the dot every morning, my alarm goes off. Because at 7.30 every morning, my family sits down to breakfast. And on Mondays, we have cereal. On Tuesdays, we have hotcakes. On Wednesdays, we have French toast. On Thursdays, bacon and eggs. And Fridays, we have waffles. Because at 10 minutes to 8 every morning, my father leaves the house and catches a bus that leaves the corner at 8.05. At five minutes to eight, my mother pushes me out of the house and I catch a bus that leaves the corner at 8.13. My bus arrives at school at 22 minutes to nine, exactly. And eight minutes later, a bell rings and I go to my first class. At nine o'clock on the dot, another bell rings and my first class begins. 10 minutes to 10, another bell rings and I start for my second class. At 10 o'clock, another bell rings and my second class begins and it goes on and on and on like this all day long, except for lunch period. When I have my choice of macaroni on Mondays, meatloaf on Tuesdays, wieners and beans on Wednesdays, roast beef on Thursdays, and roast beef hash or some kind of fish on Fridays. Yes, Charlie, well, that's the schedule. The whole world is a schedule, Mr. Novak. Well, there are lots of people in it. You have to keep order. That's why we have laws, Charlie. My father wears a gray flannel suit to the office. He wears a white shirt and a dark tie and a very nice suit. And he conforms. He does everything exactly right, exactly as he's told. Charlie, weren't you the boy who came to school one day without any shoes on? Just to prove a point. Yes. Well, what was that point, Charlie? That I could get an A-plus on a test without my shoes on. Get an A-plus on the test. But you never did take that test, did you? Hmm? No. No. No, sir. Mr. Vane sent me home. Mm -hmm. well, Charlie, would you mind telling Mr. me... Mr. Vane... Mr. Vane thought that the girls shouldn't wear moo-moos, and I thought that was wrong. Oh. So now you'd like to go through that whole thing all over again, is that it? I guess so, Mr. Nova. You plan to go through the rest of your life like this? Please, Mr. Novak, don't tune me out. Uh, Charlie, you... You get straight A's, don't you? Well, I've gotten B's in chemistry. Well, how did you feel about that, son? It's a little disappointed. I always have a little trouble with chemistry. What if a teaching machine could assure you of getting A's in chemistry? Straight A's, straight across the board. My father makes a lot of money. He makes a very good Charlie, salary. I don't think this has anything but to he do doesn't enjoy it very you. much, Mr. Novak. He doesn't enjoy making it at any rate. Every night he comes home, and at 7 o'clock on the dot, my mother asks him, What's new? Charlie, I don't see what And nothing's see what ever this... new, Mr. Novak. Nothing's ever new. Don't you see? Look, I've been to his office. I know what it's like. It's like a mechanical box, and everything goes just right for him. But if it doesn't, well, I get the feeling he goes off in another room someplace, and then there's this big machine that gives him the big answer that the little machine couldn't give to him. I don't think that's very dignified, Mr. Novak. You see, I'd like to do something for myself. I'd like to make waves.